recording on the stream. Okay. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining me for another WebCon Spotlight session. So I'm really glad to introduce a special guest who will be also doing a panel with us on Saturday. And her name is Ari Chan. Her full name is Ari Shimo Higoshi. And we also have Yuki here who will be um, translating this conversation because Ari Chan um, his main language is Japanese because she's from Japan. So introduce yourself, Ari Chan. Ah, uh, Okay. Hello, everyone. My name is Ari from Japan. Um, I'm a university student, but I'm doing as a Japanese calligraphy performer. So, mm -hmm. Awesome. And Yuki, do you want to introduce yourself as well? Because you'll be here <laughs> throughout the spotlight as well. Okay. Um, so, my name is Yuki. Uh, I'm also from Japan. And I go to UMass when I'm uh, junior, uh, no, sophomore. And I'm here to translate. Yeah. Thank you so much for doing that and helping out a lot. I'm super excited about being able to reach out um, and just have this collaborative effort between you know the United States and Japan. Um, so where exactly are you from, Ari Chan? Um, I am from Kagoshima, Japan. Do you know Kagoshima? Have you ever I don't. seen? No. <laughs> No. <laughs> um, uh, there are four islands in Japan. Mm -hmm. And uh, Kagoshima is located in Kyushu. Kyushu is the... What do you call it? It's the most south of Kagoshima. Kyushu is... Uh, uh, yeah, there's four islands and then one of them is Kyushu. And it's uh, the southern... It's located in the southern... Um, yeah. So Kagoshima is famous for hot spring. Mm -hmm. Because maybe you know Mount Fuji. Yes, the yeah, big mountain. But, yeah. yeah, but in Kagoshima, uh, there is a volcano, Mount Sakurajima. Oh, cool. It's famous for hot spring. Oh, cool. Is it more of like a rural type of setting? Mm hmm. Is it more like rural or is it like a large city? Lounge? Um, about 1.6 million people live in Kagoshima. Oh, okay. Oh, nice. And are you in school right now? And if so, what is your major? Um, my major is space ethics. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and my university is Kyushu University. Kyushu Daigaku, wa, um, Kyushu Daigaku is located in Fukuoka. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Fukuoka is also in Kyushu. Mm -hmm. And uh, Kyushu University where maybe do you know Mr. Wakata Koichi astronaut? I actually don't. I oh, wish don't. I knew more about NASA because it's very cool. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, anyway, and he graduated from Kyushu University. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. So, and uh, yeah, I'm studying about space ethics there. Mm -hmm. And uh, I belong to 21st century program. Yes. So, yeah. Mm, and then we, um, 21st century program students can create our own curriculum very freely, like liberal arts. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. So, so what made you want to create space ethics as your major? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. Why did you major in space ethics? 
えっとしたのな何がたあそうだね。なんか、うん、My interest in the space development、mm-hmm.。そう。なんか、え、日本語で説明していい全然、全然日本語でもない。<笑>あの、なんか、小学生の時に、社会科の授業で地図を書いていて、うん、なんか自分の目で地球を見たいと思って宇宙に興味を持ち始めたのね。うん、あ、トランスレートする一旦。Okay. <笑> um, when she was an、um, e n t e r y school student, it, um, it was a sociology class, and she,、um, the assignment was to draw a map. Yeah. To draw ours, and then at the, at the moment she thought, Oh, I want to see space. Yeah, that's why, definitely. She, that's why she's interested in,、um, that's why she's taking space ethics in our university. You know? Oh, yeah, definitely. Like the pictures from space are so beautiful, like when you just see Earth from out there. So I can totally understand.、Mm. Yeah, so but for me, it is important to. See The, our planet with my own eyes. Then, yeah, yeah then, so t h e t h e n a e first, um, a e I wanted to become an astronaut,、mm-hmm. but my tour is not enough. Oh,、uh. <laughs> and then, and then, then I e x p l o r e d to. うん。と、あ、how なんか身長が足りなくて宇宙飛行士になれないと分かってなんか別な方法で宇宙に関わる方法を探していた。そう、ああ、あしせい、はい、was not enough for being、uh, to be astronaut。そしよし、ああ、or、um,、something、or like、some job that she can、um, involve with space。Yeah, okay. I didn't know that they had such physical requirements to be an astronaut. <laughs> so, and then, <laughs> and then when I study about space development,、mm-hmm. um, especially aerospace engineering, I found they have a problem、um, such as space debris and a planet uh, pol- pollution. Mm-hmm. So that's why I thought I'm, I want to think about the、um, space development from the viewpoint of moral ethics. Yeah, that makes, yeah, no, I totally understand because a lot of people、um, have some issues with like the Mars project or spending a lot of money on space. So that's really interesting that they actually have a major where you sit there and think about. All these decisions because sometimes people focus too much on science and don't think about how it'll affect people. <laughs> so it, it's good to have someone who knows how to keep scientists like grounded. Yeah. <laughs> oh, definitely. And so, oh, what was it? Sorry. <laughs> so, when I was an elementary school student,、mm-hmm. I think space, the space has. Big dream,、mm-hmm. but now I realize, like,、mm, yeah, of course, the space has a dream for human being, but, like, gain it to Moshita, like, like, you may, Janak, like, you got gomide, a hurte, to your cotoni, kids, it's it. Oh, so, um. This is an elementary school student. She was, she was thinking that、uh, space is、um, such a dream place. And、mm-hmm. it's um, um, 
like um, hope and interest and every every positive thing. And she has she has those feeling about space. But like as she grow up, um, she uh, realized there's like a lot of problems, mm-hmm. like air pollution. I mean, space pollution and such. Yeah. Those- yeah no makes sense like we're destroying our own planet but we want to go visit other planets (laughs) yeah (laughs) okay so Ari-chan um so you also do shodo what is shodo and how did you get started with that um shodo is uh, Japanese calligraphy Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Japanese calligraphy is the way of writing with brush and sumi ink. And uh, Japanese is a traditional and historical art in Japan. Mm-hmm. Uh, the origin is from China, but we Japanese created uh, hiragana and katakana. Mm-hmm. Like, like this, like this is Japanese calligraphy style. Oh, cool. Did you make that one? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, cool. What yeah. does it say on the uh, calligraphy? What is it written? 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 Traditional Japanese traditional poem. Oh, like a haiku? Haiku? haiku. Is that what it's called? Haiku? Mm-hmm. Ha, uh, no. Ah, これ haiku. Yeah, this is haiku. Okay. Mm-hmm. So this traditional Japanese famous haiku. Oh, okay. So it's like a, an existing haiku in Japan? Or is it a haiku that you wrote, Ari-chan? これ、元々ある、それとも、Ari-chan mm-hmm. Oh, it's already existing. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, you're also a poet? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. And how would you describe um, Japanese calligraphy? Oh, what do you write? いや、ジャパニーズカリグラフィーってのはどういうもの Japanese calligraphy is handwriting art. Mm-hmm. And we can use brush and the uh, sumi ink mm-hmm. and then um i began japanese calligraphy when i was four yep and ah okay so Okay, I'm going to try again. <laughs> okay. Oh, no ja- worries. <laughs> okay, so what is Shodo? Japanese calligraphy. And Japanese calligraphy is the way of writing with brush and sumi ink. Uh, Japanese calligraphy is the traditional art form mm-hmm. of writing aimed to express yourself through writing. Yes. And at first I began shuji lessons when I was four. Um, shuji is popular with an um, after school activity for Japanese. Oh, cool. Yeah. So, so you shuji- learn that in school as well? Yes, yes. Okay. So, Shuji, it, Shuji has a big aspect of education. Mm-hmm. But, uh, 
なんか習字は文字を正しく書くことが求められる。うん、でも、えっと、習字が書道になると、書道は芸術的なスキルが求められる。うん。Okay, so 習字、uh, that、um, she explained that、um, Mm-hmm. Uh, Shuji is popular with、um, after school activity for Japanese. So then its main purpose is to write characters、um, correctly.、Mm-hmm. And, but、um, on the other hand,、uh, Japanese calligraphy,、um, its main purpose is.、Um, so Japanese calligraphy, first of all, is art. So its main purpose is、um, it's how, how would you、um, write. The character、um, with、um, sense of art. Yep. Yeah. That makes sense.、Um, so, do you wear a traditional outfit when doing calligraphy, if I'm correct? And is that what you're wearing right now? Japanese calligraphy is so tricky. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. 今,今その服着てるみたいな。ああ。うん。で、depends on person <笑>。でも、なんか、初動パフォーマンス。There is a Japanese calligraphy、uh, competition <笑> every year.、Um, it is for high school students who belong to Japanese calligraphy club. Yep.、Mm-hmm. And then they wear, they normally wear this hakama. Oh, okay. So that's what it's called, the hakama? Yeah, hakama. Okay.、Mm-hmm. That's awesome. And why do you think people should learn calligraphy and what are some of the benefits? Oh, okay. So in Japan, Um, handwriting characters are thought to represent the personality of the writers. So, good shadow skills generate a feeling of sophistication.、Mm-hmm. And you are thought to be trustworthy if your handwriting characters are good. Also, shadow is. Um, considered to be a way of self discipline. discipline.、Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. And、um, you are also a licensed Shoto instructor, instructor, correct? And what did you do to get your license? And how do you usually teach calligraphy?、Mm-hmm. So, just like the tea ceremony and the flower arrangement. There are many scores in Shodo. And the licensed Shodo instructor from Minami Nihon Shodo Gai,、uh, Southern Japan Calligraphy Association.、Um, I don't know. I just practiced, practiced, and practiced every day. <laughs> yeah, then, yeah, I got a license. And have you ever、um, done competitions outside of Japan? And what was it like to do that? Mm, um, okay, so I have, I have been performed a Japanese calligraphy in several countries, such as Australia, Singapore, and Hong Kong, and Germany.、Mm-hmm. Yeah.、Mm-hmm. How do the competitions usually work? Do they give you guys like a certain prompt, or do you just draw whatever calligraphy you'd like? どういうことか教えて。やはりそのあのシャのパフォーマンスの時は、えっ、ー、とどうやどういうふうな流れでするのかみたいなあのみんなの前でパフォーマンスするのかシャを教えるのか。ああ、うん、うん、なんか二つのスタイルがある。
。で、一つ目は、うん、音楽に合わせて、大きな和紙に好きな文字を書く。うん、で、二つ目は、えっ、ー、と、見ている人を巻き込んで、一緒に文字を書く。っていうのもどういう、うん、例えばなんかあの、書道は文字の芸術、うん、で書き順があるから、なんか一人一画を担当して、みんなで一つの文字を完成させる。うん also, um... During the performance,、um, there's two styles that she usually d o And then the、mm-hmm. one person is、um, she just draws one character with music in front of the audience. Oh. And, yes. And the second one is um, so um, she um, it's like involving style with audience so like she can.、Mm-hmm. He's gonna draw one character with,、um, with audience. Like,、um, you know, the one character composed with many、um, lines. Yes, yes. So,、um, one audience is gonna line, draw this one, and the other one is gonna draw this one.、So. Oh, that's so interesting, especially with the music part. And what do you hope people around the world get out of your calligraphy work? ああ、それは、love? <laughs> Because, あちょっと待って。うん。うん、live demonstration. I'm excited. Okay, this is my name, Ari.、Mm-hmm. De, これこれ It means love. Oh, you、And、have love、uh, in your name. <laughs> <Yeah> . So, <laughs> I want to spread from my works.、Mm-hmm. To, mm, yeah, I want to spread my love、yeah. from my. To everyone.、Mm-hmm. The, yeah, I want to spread love from myself to the space.、Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that's my, my concept of my favorite, favorite artworks is love. So,、oh, yeah. I definitely <laughs> feel it. It's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> And can you describe a Shoto experience that stood out for you? Ah, これはなんか一つ面白いエピソードがある I have many, one episode.、Mm-hmm. And when I,、um, when I joined a relation, international relationship program between Japan and America,、mm-hmm. and then I did Japan. I perform a Japanese calligraphy with American.、Yeah. And then, yeah,、um, an American friend said to me, Oh, this, this work is not good. Nanka, Kono, Kansi, Shita, Sakhi, no G, Kitana, Ine, the Yutano. I was, I was surprised that translated it.、Uh, so, um, uh, when she was doing the performance, and then the,、uh, the performance was、um, uh, both Jap- there's audience,、uh, both Japanese and from America.、Mm-hmm. And、uh, when she was drawing,、um, and then when she finished with the、uh, um, Artwork, and then one of the audience from America says, Oh, this is kind of messy. And、uh, through the, through the... yeah, so and then I was surprised, but、um, 
I think um, most of people compare Shuji with Japanese calligraphy uh-huh. because required um, to write. How can I say seikakuni? Correctly. Shuji is required to write correctly. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Japanese calligraphy is different with Shuji. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, we can pursue the aspect of art by doing Japanese calligraphy. So, yeah, I think um, this is a um, um, kadai. How can I say kadai? Um, so... Problem? Problem. Oh. I think so. Yeah. so it'd be like more like abstract and your own art style versus like calligraphy is more traditional. I'm guessing. traditional. Mm-hmm. Could you say that again? The question. Oh yeah, sorry. Um, I was just saying. So, uh, would shoju be more like abstract and artistic versus like calligraphy? I guess is more like traditional and rigid with what you can do. えっと、シュシュジがえっと、カリグラフィーが大事なので、えっと、書道がえっと、あれでしょう、えっと、あ、シュジ。シュ、そう、シュジがもっとえっと、え、なんていうんだろう。抽象的。なんか。カリグラフィーの入り口に習字があるという感じかな。Oh, it's just basic fundamental skill uh, from calligraphy. And she uh, mm-hmm. required to write correctly, um, but uh, calligraphy required to like, um, require more like expression from um, artists. Oh, okay, that's so interesting. I never knew that there was a difference between the two. Oh, that's awesome. And so I also see that you have a YouTube channel, Adi-chan. Um, what do you post on your YouTube channel and what inspired you to create this channel on YouTube? So, I don't know, but... Mm. I, do, I like making videos. Mm-hmm. So, but um, YouTube is like I like to start my own. So, I started my own vlog and my own vlog and I thought I would like to make it. So um, she generally likes YouTube, um, and that's why she started making videos. And mm-hmm. She up uh, she uploads like uh, video blog, or and then, like uh, she also uploads like um, a performance from the um, uh, some some kind of events, photography events. Yeah, oh, cool. <clears throat> mm. I like watching YouTube channels and then I want, oh, I want to start my YouTube channel not watching YouTube, but making videos by myself. And then last year I was studying abroad in Munich Technic, in Technical University of Munich. Mm-hmm. And then I decided to make a vlog of 
a daily life of students, European mm -hmm. students, European international students. Oh, cool. Yeah, and then, but I had to come back to Japan because of COVID-19. Mm, yeah. So, yeah, so I made a, um, so, なんか、なんて言ったらいいかな。なんか、ヨーロッパ私たちの高校。ああ、なんかコロナが日本で流行した時、空港はすっごいたくさんの人がいた。うん。ソーシャルディスタンス全くなかった。うん。で、それをメディアに伝えて発信して、それはえっと改善された。ああ、難しい。難しい。あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ
What was your favorite part about Germany? <laughs> so a beer. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Do you have good beer in Japan or is just Germany just a lot better? <laughs> I drank one little beer in October. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you went to Oktoberfest? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, um, how was that? Yeah. It was good. <laughs> yeah, I enjoyed. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. And Adi Chan, what do you like to do in your free time? Um, uh, what are gonna... I'm dancing. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, and making videos. And yeah, I like the space. So, Tentai Kansoku. How can I say Tentai Kansoku? Um, yeah. Is it uh, a telescope? Oh, yeah. Telescope. And thanks. Like looking at the stars. Mm, sky watching. Like watching. Oh, uh, yeah. Sky watching. Oh, okay. What kind of music do you like to dance to, Adi Chan? <laughs> what kind of music? Oh. <laughs> mm. J pop and K pop and none of them. Every everything. <laughs> oh yeah. Do you have any favorite <laughs> singers or groups? <laughs> Someone saying BTS. <laughs> <laughs> do you know need you? Do you then, know Niju? Oh yeah, I do, yeah. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, I love you. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. I know uh, Felix likes BTS. <laughs> oh, really? oh. Yeah. that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Is there a fun fact that you'd like to share about yourself? Yeah, it's a It's difficult question. It's difficult question. It's a fun fun fact. <laughs> fun fact you want to know my fun fact yeah. <laughs> oh okay um I like to sew so I make costumes oh yeah costume. yeah mm -hmm. I do I uh dress up as princesses uh Shiryuki a lot too yeah. <laughs> Shiryuki oh. Hime <laughs> I have a Facebook. Uh, I, don't, I don't have a lot of social media, surprisingly. <laughs> do you have a fun fact? Like, do you like to eat any, any specific food or like to go anywhere? Ah, wakata. Eto. Saikin. I uh I went to Kagawa Prefecture as a trip. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then my next question is um so give me one second. So Yuki's also um from the Japanese Student Association. So Ari-chan, how did you get involved with the Japanese Student Association and the Japanese Language Club? And what have been some of your favorite moments with the groups? 
どうやってつながったかそうこの、えっと、ベース俺たちと、えっと、つながったかあな,なんて言ったらいいんだろう、うん、?How can I say? I have a, we have a common friend、mm-hmm. mm, between me and the ジャンプ。日本語でも覚えます。あ、なんか。フィリックス。まあいいや、えっと、なんか共通のお友達がいて。で、その子にこう日本語研究会なんかコミュニティで書道のイベントをするから。なんか私に書道のスキルあるからよかったらパフォーマーとして参加しないって誘ってもらって一緒に活動することになったそう私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私
foto mati ちょっと待ってください。Okay, so everyone make sure to follow Adi Chan. Here's the QR code for all our social medias.、Um, so, Adi Chan, you have an Instagram, a YouTube. Is there anything else that you have? これできてるのかな読み取れるなんか QR コードが途切れてるけど大丈夫かな多分、多分、いけるそういうので試してもらえば大丈夫だ。ちょっと待って。I'm gonna try again.Okay, no worries.Oh, oh, okay, okay.Oh, there you go. Yes. So be sure to scan the QR code right now so you can follow Adi Chan and follow her YouTube so you can see all the videos,、um, especially like her calligraphy videos. And as she mentioned, she did some videos at her time in Germany as well. So make sure to give that Instagram also some follows and some likes. And we will also see Adi Chan on Saturday for her live. Calligraphy demonstration. So be sure to join for that as well. So thank you, Adi Chan, for coming to the spotlight today. And thank you, Yuki, for translating for us today as well. And thank you, everyone, for watching. Okay, well, bye bye, everyone. <laughs>